My name is Fern Robertson. I'm with Joel, and Joel is delighted to introduce to the world our newest workhorse scanning electron microscope that's the legacy of the 5800 started in 1994 when Joel introduced the first large chambered automated low vacuum microscope and many generations later this is the continuing legacy of Joel's development in the SEM world. We've redesigned the specimen chamber, we've redesigned the stage, we've redesigned it to bring it into the 21st century with touch screen operation. As Dave will show, the interface is a fully functional touch screen operation. Although realizing that microscopes are not tablets, we've continued to provide the world with a digital knob set, with mouse control, with keyboard control. It basically allows the user to run the microscope in any mode that they feel the most comfortable with. The interface is newly designed. It looks and runs like your tablet. It has all of the common functions that smartphones and tablets would have, like drag and drop, point and shoot, two finger stretching. So if we can show that, we'll take a look at just running it in a, in a perfectly intuitive way. We've improved all of our detectors so that we can display live detectors simultaneously under the same sorts of imaging conditions that one would normally use. The interface has been improved to be an intuitive interface with live color image navigation, essentially global positioning for the microscope. Uh, we can take images from a cell phone, we can take images from an optical microscope, a metallograph, polarized light microscope, import those images in and do stage navigation, do x-ray analysis. The Joel microscope is fully integrated with all the EDS manufacturers and now one of the concerns is being able to collect large, large data sets very quickly and as you can see from the specimen chamber over here, the instrument now is currently configured with two large area Oxford EDS spectrometers. Uh, we're integrated with all of the manufacturers, as I said, and the new specimen chamber design allows for those two detectors to be at 180 degrees opposed. In the real world, we'd love to have all of our samples be flat, polished, and, and homogeneous, but that, in fact, is not the real world. So this allows us to do x-ray analysis on the microscopic scale on samples that are the true world, rough, irregular, non-homogeneous type materials. And we'll open up the specimen chamber and give you a look inside and, and give you a sense that the stage and chamber is a robust, capable of handling large samples of heavy weight. Uh, let's open it up and take a look. Joel continues the tradition of the in-the-chamber stage. Again, real-world samples tend not to be small, tend not to be flat, tend not to be regular shaped. Here's an example that we're using as a fiduciary a can of spray air. We can, with the stage in place, drive to a location where the stage is in place with the door open. That's an impossibility on microscopes that have stages on the rails that draw out. We're able to look at a very large sample, manipulate it, and get around and navigate on traditionally what would be considered to be very difficult samples. The large specimen chamber is just a continuation of that capability that Joel has provided for years.